hello what's up today in this video i want to show you how you can get started with get response as your email service provider in my previous video i showed you how you can use mailship as a beginner but there is some disadvantages with with using mailship one of the disadvantages is that you cannot promote affiliate marketing you cannot promote affiliate link on your mails you cannot have more than one list which is very very awkward then you are limited to the number of messages that you can send per day then apart from that you you don't have more than one automation more than one auto responder you can only have one auto responder in your free version part time so if you want to beat all those disadvantages then i suggest that you go with get response now get response have 30 day free trial and during that 30 day free trial you should be able to get yourself accustomed to their service and they have so many advantages of which one of them is you can have as many lists as possible then you can have as many autoresponders as possible for your free account you can have up to one you can have up to 1000 contacts okay now if you want to create your account i will provide the link in the description and you log in once you open that you open that url you hit start for free and you sign up you will need to go through some very verification processes like they need to verify your phone number and stuff like that then once you have completed that then you are good to go and you now log in if you log in you have a default list which the name may not be like this so all you will need to do is to click on the list at the top to start creating your list if you if you click on the list at the top you will now edit the name of the default list to suit your purpose and if you want to edit your list what you need to do is you will go to your right and you see this three dot hover over it then take your cursor to setting then you can now change the name and the name you use have to be lower case there's not going to be space in between if you want to have something like that look like space instead of space you will use underscore then the list title is what your subscriber will see when they are subscribing to your list they will not see the list name they will only see list title and the description and if they are unsubscribing from your list you will also see this so then you upload your logo and type your url here and hit save changes then the next thing is you go to subscription then i don't recommend that you check this if you check this meaning everyone that subscribes to your list you will be notified imagine if you have so many subscribers your email inbox will be closed with notification which is not very okay so except if you are just starting you can just on it after some time you off it 
all right then you will need to either use double opt-in what is double opt-in double opt-in is when somebody type in his email or name before you can you are you can start sending messages to them they will have to go back to their email and click on activation message before you can start sending messages to them what is the advantage of that the advantage is that it helps you to get genuine subscribers if you don't have double opt-in some people are not very serious with what they are doing they only want to know what will happen after they type any email they can just create any email that does not exist somewhere in their head they'll just type in or they type the alternative email which they are not even using and the disadvantage of that is that if you start sending messages to those fake email addresses your integrity will be lowered it will look like to the message delivering agents that as if you copy those emails from the internet or you bought it from somebody and that will have a negative effect on your domain your integrity will be lowered and that means your email will not be delivered to the inbox rather it will go into a spam folder they will look at you at you as a spammer so that is the disadvantage so i recommend that you use double opt-in and if you don't use double opt-in there are other alternatives that you can use one you make sure you only send message to somebody that have opened your first email and i'm going to show you how you can determine that in the course of this tutorial okay now if you have done that then this is you are going to use your custom url as a confirmation page this is going to be a form of thank you page and you are going to use your offer page which is the same as your sales page so after after somebody have confirmed his email then he should see the offer you have for him so you are going to paste your offer url here you can see i've already pasted mine and you hit save changes then the next thing is confirmation message confirmation confirmation message is the message that will be sent to any subscriber that subscribe to your email and this is the email they are going to click the confirmation link before they are now fully confirmed as your subscribers okay now having done all that your list is now set to start collecting subscribers okay think this is the much we can do on this we'll still go further in the course of this tutorial thank you for watching this video and see you again in the next video bye